Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy. Normally when people meet me during meetups or maybe online on Facebook or in fact in YouTube comments as well, we have this frequently asked question which is how do I improve my programming skills or logical skills? Sometimes it's difficult to answer those questions so I made this video just to answer that. I have certain steps you can follow to improve your programming skills. Now we, we can have 7 steps or 5 steps but I, I went for this number 5 because I love it. <music> So before improving your programming skills, the first thing you need is a programming knowledge. And of course, right, you must have started with any of the language, maybe C, C++, Java, Python, or JavaScript. And you might be knowing the syntax of it because that's what we do. So when you say you are learning a programming language, the first thing you learn is a syntax. Now different languages have different syntax and that's why, you know, once you learn one language, let's say C, it is easier for you to learn C++ and then Java because they all follow the same syntactical paradigm. Now the thing is, once you have learned the syntax, the next thing, you have to follow the five steps so that you can work on your skills. So the first step is practice algorithms and data structures. Now when you learn a language, you feel you know everything, but that's not the case. Because when you learn a language, you learn syntax. And if you, if you want to implement it, let's say if I give you a problem statement and you have to convert that problem statement into a code or into a software, it's not a direct process. First, you have to convert that problem statement into a solution and that will be only steps. And that's what we call it as algorithms. And then we, we convert that algorithm into code. Now, when I give you an example, let's say if you, want to, if you want to find a given number is odd or even, I know in your brain somewhere, there's an algorithm which you, have already, you, which you already know. What you do is you convert that into a code, right? But if you talk about big problem statements, so first you have to convert that into algorithms and you need practice for that. And for, for practicing that, you have to solve some existing algorithms. You know, if you open any algorithm book, you have this uh, searching and sorting techniques. So you have to refer those things first. So practice those algorithms and also data structures like we have linked list, we have a list, right? So practice all those things like we have trees. So practice all those things together because so there are some uh, algorithms which works with this this uh, data structures so that will be your first step second step would be you know for when you learn a language and when you implement that in your own way so if i give you a problem statement you will write your own code but sometimes the code which you write is not the correct way i'm not saying it will not give you the right output but sometimes what also important is the way you write a code the the compactness of your code the efficiency the speed efficiency and there's also a way of writing a code you heard about design patterns right now, to improve those things, what I would recommend is just, just see some other people's code. And nowadays, we have this huge repository called as GitHub. In fact, not just GitHub, we have different, uh, different websites available as well. But GitHub is my favorite. So what you can do is try to read other people's code because it might give you a new way of writing code. The same thing which you are writing, but in a different way. Right? The syntax will remain same. Uh, the, the output will remain same, but the way you write a code will change. So what you will do is just go to GitHub and thus there are some projects available. Just have a look on those things. And the way the, the moment you watch those code, when you see those codes, it will make an impact on your brain. And next time you write a code, it will be helpful. Now step three. Now step three is my personal experience. The way I have improved my programming skills is by participating in the competition. So when I was in my college, I used to participate in multiple colleges or multiple college events. So maybe coding event or debugging event or maybe a quiz events. So initially I used to, I used to lose all those games, but then later on I started winning it because I was practicing it. So initially, of course, you will lose because you don't know how to compete. And later on, the more, the more you compete, the more you will know how exactly write a code. Now, nowadays, if you don't want to visit any colleges, you can do it online. So we have this thing called as competitive programming. Uh, so if you can compete with people, you know, on different websites like HackerRank, HackerEarth, we have CodeChef. So just compete with people because they will. So what happens is this website, they will give you a problem statement and you have to convert that problem statement into a solution. So of course you have to write a code. And when normally when you submit your code, maybe they will not accept it, they will reject your code. And that's where the learning starts because initially you will get rejected. I got rejected multiple times. And later on, luckily one of my code got selected. That's that, that what motivates you, right? So you have to participate in competition because it will teach you how to code. Second, it will teach you how to code efficiently. And third, it will teach you how to debug. And that's very important. In fact, in the description area, you will find a link to an article 
and it will be helpful for you. So just read the article, it will help you to participate in competitive programming. Step four. Now it might sound weird, but don't stick to one language. Explore, try to explore more languages. The thing is, we, we, all, we all love some languages, right? Example, I love Java. There are people who love Python. Then we love some people love PHP. Don't stick to one language because your language might be best. But all the languages, they have some good things and some bad things or some, some shortcomings. So when you learn another, another language, it will teach you a different way of writing a code. Example, when I learned Scala, I learned about how do we do, how do, we do functional programming, which helped me in my Java language. Right. So learn other languages because they have some extra features which you can implement in your language. And the last step, which is very important, which is build projects. Of course, right. Why you learn a programming language at the end, you want to build a project. So why not start building a project from start? I'm not saying from day one, but after learning a programming language, maybe a syntax and then implementing all these steps, it's time to take time for you to build a project. Now it can be any project doesn't matter, you know, because we all have some passion, right? Something else like some hobby. Maybe you, you like to watch movie. Maybe you like to read a book. Maybe you like playing games or maybe you're a photographer. What you can do is you can build a project for yourself. So the first project should be for yourself. For example, if you love music, make a music player. If you want, if you like games, make your own game. Now that will be your first step. Because when you are doing something for yourself, you will feel good about it, right? And of course, you will get stuck somewhere because this is your first project. And there's multiple ways you can solve this. Just go to Google and search for your problem. And trust me, Google knows everything, right? Uh, we also have a website called Stack Overflow and it will help you with the code. Okay, don't just copy paste the code because that's what most people do. Try to understand the code, what they are saying, try it out and try to customize it the way you want. You know, don't just copy paste it because it might lead to bugs. And trust me, bugs are harmful. Now, after these five steps, let me just repeat those steps. First one is practice algorithms and data structures. The second one is read other people's code. Third one is competitive programming. The fourth one is explore other languages. And the fifth one is build a project. Now with this, I have a bonus step for you uh, which is quite important because at least for me and that is keep following telesco it will surely help you to improve your programming skills so that's it from this video i hope this video was helpful to you let me know in the comment section and do click on the like button if you liked it thank you so much for watching everyone